Hello, 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 everybody. I hope everybody's had a wonderful week. It's finally Friday. Praise the Lord. It's been a long one. What I'd like to come and talk about a little bit today is the top of the heavyweight rankings in boxing and um, my feelings on each of the talents there and uh, about upcoming fights, what I think we may see here. Uh, first, we got... Out of all the heavyweights we got going on right now, Dylan White just had a win. Uh, Dominic Brazel has been waiting to have a mandatory with Deontay Wilder for over a year. But really, those are secondary names. The top three people everybody are talking about and care about seeing are Fury, Wilder, and AJ. Or Anthony Joshua. Um, I really think that on any given day, any one of these guys can beat each other. You have a lot of, you know, hardcore fans for each of the three, and they seem to think their fighter's the best. But I honestly think on any given day, we could see anybody win any of those fights. We just recently saw the Wilder Fury um, fight, which ended up in a draw. Many people said Tyson Fury was robbed. Don't personally think it was a complete robbery. I uh, I did have that Scott, that fight scored for Tyson Fury. I believe my score was 114 to 112. Uh, so I can see if one of those early rounds could have been a swing round, how they could have, uh, a judge could have swung that into Wilder's favor and made it a draw. So I'm not completely uh, shocked about that outcome, nor I don't, do I think it's a total robbery. But I do think the scorecard that was like, I think it was 116 to 112 for Wilder. That was, I don't know what fight they were even seeing. I think when we look at all these guys, they all have their strengths and they all have their weaknesses. I'll, I'll start with, well, let's start with uh, Tyson Fury first. I'm personally a huge Tyson Fury fan. He's probably my favorite boxer right now in heavyweight boxing. And when you look at his boxing skills... I'd give them an A. I think he's an A. He's an A-level boxer, as far as his skills, his movement. I'd give it an A-level as far as his movement and his defense as well. I'd call it a A-level or maybe B-plus level. But when we talk about Fury's power, I'm going to say it's he has C-minus power. You know, Fury really hasn't put a lot of people away by KO. And very few devastating KOs. I think the most devastating one we saw was versus. Steve Cunningham, who Cunningham put Tyson down hard early, and Tyson came back to win that fight by via knockout. Uh, had him against the, the ropes and hit him with a little short uh, right right hook, put him out cold. But again, Cunningham was a cruiserweight moving up. He really wasn't quite even the, close to the size that Fury was. But I, I as in the fight that we saw between Wilder and Fury, uh, Fury hit Wilder with some clean shots. I mean, some clean ones. Even when he got back up from the canvas in the 12th round, he hit him with a hard right shot. And all throughout that fight, he was hitting him with some nice one-twos, clean, clean jabs, and then clean follow-up hands. And Wilder just seemed to eat him. And we, I really don't know how great Wilder's chin is. We saw him uh, been rocked more than once, especially in the Luis Ortiz fight. Ortiz caught him and had... Uh, had Deontay on chicken legs. He was skating like Bambi for a little bit there, but he survived the round. So I don't think his chin is is great. I give his chin maybe a B. Deontay's, but I would probably say that Tyson Fury's chin's a little worse than his. I'd probably give his 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 chin uh, maybe a C. He seems to get dropped by smaller guys, and he get when he gets caught clean, he goes down. Now. He has an, an amazing ability to recover. His recovery is definitely an A. We saw that in the 12th round when I saw it. Tyson was out, cold, unconscious, end of the fight, and he got up. A lot of people thought that count was slow. I've, I've stopped watching. I've used Showtime's clock. I've used other people's clocks, and he made that count. Uh, regardless of what, what people might think, the count being long, it's, it's, a, 10, it's a 10 count by the referee. It's not... 10 seconds and people seem to forget that when he get when you get knocked down the second you hit that floor it's not one you have to wait for a second to go by before one so it's fall to the mat pause one two that's how the count's going to start it's not going to just 
hit the mat. One, two. You didn't give him a guy. You didn't give that guy a second on the mat. He didn't get a second. So that would actually only be a nine count. But regardless, um, that's kind of where I rate Fury. A level boxing, A level defense, you know, C level chin, uh, and his his punching power though. I'd give it. You know, when I say he caught Wilder clean, Wilder walked right through him, and he's never really hurt them. But I would say maybe C minus power on D on uh, Tyson Fury. It's one of the things that he lacks. He'll never be a power puncher. I've seen a lot of people on online and uh, making commenting on Fury saying he needs to get better power. He needs to work on his power. Well, there's very little you can do in boxing to work on your power. You can lift weights, which for Tyson Fury doesn't really see wouldn't really help his style because. It would just make him more muscle bound and brutish and would slow him down, slow his movement, slow his speed. Uh, and it really won't really won't help him much because those attributes that his speed, his herky jerkiness, his awkwardness, his boxing skills and movement, that's what wins him fights. He is what for lack of a better word, I call a point fighter. Uh, he's not a devastating puncher, but he can go on there, he can outclass his opponent and get the job done. Now, the next person I'll take a look at is Wilder. And again, I'm using this most recent fight, plus probably the last couple of fights, Ortiz. And I'm familiar with all Deontay's fights in the last, at least since he's been the WBC champion. I've watched all those fights over and over. And uh, I would say that Deontay's boxing skills are C-. minus. He doesn't have great boxing skills, which I feel is a big, big hole in his game. He got kind of shown shown to not have great boxing skills versus Tyson Fury. Uh, if Wilder could actually put some uh, some different skills together, better offense, better defense, just better all-around fundamental boxing, I think that uh, he'd have a, a much greater chance to uh, land those big right hands because he'd have better setups. Right now, he really just uses his speed, which I think he's an A-level a speed fighter, and his power, which I'd say he's eight plus plus in power. He he only needs to find that one shot and he can find it. He's fought it on he found it on everybody he's fought. He even found that shot twice on Fury. I believe the first one was to the back of the head. I don't believe that should have been a knockdown. But regardless, he caught him clean in the twelfth round. And I think that Wilder can pretty much catch anybody with just that speed, that that A-level athleticism, that A-level power. His defense, I'd give his defense probably, I don't know, a C-plus. And that leaves us with Anthony Joshua. Now, out of the three, I think that Anthony Joshua is the most balanced fighter uh, as far as overall being balanced in, in all areas. I don't think he's an A really in any area, but he's a solid B in about every area. I say he has B plus power. He has uh, B plus level boxing skills. Uh, his defense is B, B level. His speed is is B level. Um, I'd say maybe his chin is B minus or C plus level chin, because we've seen him get get caught in a few of his fights, and he seems to not take the, take a shot great. It seems like. Uh, not, not one of these three guys takes a shot wonderfully. They all seem to take a shot, but this is heavyweight boxing. But if you go back and look at some of the fights of the 90s, Holy, Holyfield, Lewis, Bo, uh, Foreman, those guys had tremendous chins. They got caught with a lot of hard, clean shots. Tyson, too, was a, had a pretty decent chin. I'd say less than some of the other guys. But they got hit with a lot of hard, clean shots that with today's heavyweights would put these guys away. But I would say that Anthony Joshua is probably the most well-balanced of the three. Now, I can see any one of these guys beating the, the other one. If I was to put Fury against Wilder in another fight, I think it could end up just like we saw the first one. Either Fury uh, gets better because I don't think Fury was at 100%. I would say that Fury was probably at 70% for that fight. But put Fury uh, at 100%, and that means he's got better movement, better speed, better boxing, better defense, better conditioning, um, better stamina. And um, it gives him a chance to, to, to knock off some of those cobwebs 
and uh, really, really be about it. So I think that fight could, could end with, again, with Fury winning on points on the board like I thought he did the first time or with Wilder winning by knockout. Wilder now has picked up on some of Fury's timing, so Fury needs to improve. But I think if Wilder thinks that Fury's going to be uh, not as good as he was in this fight or he has not much level to much room to improve, I think he's mistaken. I think that shot isn't going to be easy for Deontay Wilder to find even in this fight. Can I say that he might catch Fury? Absolutely, he might catch Fury. And as we saw in that 12th round, it was real close. They could have stopped that fight. I would have had no problem with that fight being stopped and called on the, the ref waving it off. I just think that the referee in that level of a fight, having gone 12 rounds, let it go as long as he could, and Tyson showed incredible heart. Now let's talk about these guys versus AJ. Uh, let's look at AJ Wilder first. I think that AJ could win. I think AJ has two paths to victory here with Wilder. I think one, AJ is a better boxer than Wilder. I think that AJ can outbox and win on win on the uh, scorecard. And I also think that AJ has the ability to knock out Deontay Wilder. Maybe where Wilder ate some of Fury shots clean, but like I said, Fury's probably C minus power while Joshua's got B plus power. I think if uh, Wilder eats Joshua's shot clean, that could be night night for for or for uh, Wilder. On the other side, I don't see Wilder being able to win on a scorecard, but I do see him being able to catch Anthony Joshua. He has caught everybody he's fought. Uh, he might not have put every single one of them away now. I think he has 38 KOs, but he definitely has that ability. And I think in a fight, he'll find a shot in there somewhere. And I think that Anthony Joshua, with his chin the way it is, like I said previously, that uh, AJ will hit the mat. Maybe not permanently, because he has seemed to have good recovery. Probably, again, B-plus level recovery, as we saw in the Klitschko fight. We saw some of the other recent fights. Um... But I definitely give the edge to, I think I'd give the edge to Anthony Joshua in that fight. Again, though, if the the betting odds were uh, way in Joshua's favor and like a plus three or four hundred Wilder, I think I'd put my money on Wilder, though, because that's a, that's a good opportunity he lands that shot and ends the fight. As terrible of a boxer he is, he doesn't need all those skills. I don't think he'll ever really increase his skill level to where these other guys are, but I think he doesn't have to. He has that one trick. He's a one-trick pony, but the one trick works good. It saved him, and it saved him a draw in the Fury fight, but if he was able to actually box, he could have picked up some more rounds, clearly, and uh, with the two knockdowns, maybe had a chance to win the fight. If I had to rank these guys in order, one, two, and three, of who I think would beat who, I'd probably go Fury, People are going to hate that I say this. Wilder, Joshua. I just think that Joshua, is as well-rounded as he is, is still young in the sport. He has a lot less experience than both guys. Uh, I don't think he's quite the boxer that Fury is, and I don't think he's quite uh, as explosive as Deontay Wilder. But again, I could move that two or three around... I could, I could, again, I could very much 